Hey there, sign of cancer. This is Kim here to do a reading for you. This one's going to be for your next 48 hours. And for when it really resonates with you, this is the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Cards that we're going to start with. Um, then we're going to get a reading, a Celtic Cross um, general spread. And then I usually, I usually pull some Oracle cards. That's usually what I like to do with the tarot. So let's call in your spirit guides and your angels, your higher self, higher power to get messages for your highest timeline, Cancer. For Cancer's highest timeline, please, spirit. Okay, from the moonology. Oh, too many. Let's cut them instead. Unleash your kindest self. First quarter, moon, and Capricorn. First quarter, moon, and Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. And this went right. There we go. So, okay, this card is really specific here. The message is, are you being too hard on yourself or someone else? Do you need to either be strict with others or do you need to learn how to let go and not be as rigid? This is all about taking what sounds to me like a practical self-assessment, which would be why it would be in Capricorn too. So it says it's a good idea to be um, realistic, but you don't want to have the stench of reality so far up your nose that you can no longer smell life's perfumes. <laughs> Tune into your manifesting powers, your solar plexus. Um, your challenge now is to be disciplined in terms of doing what needs to get done and feeling like it's not sucking the joy out of everything. <laughs> it's trying to tell you not to be, not to be lazy, I guess. Um but be the kindest self to yourself, self-compassion, self-love. You know, that's the first step before we can even offer anything to anybody else. So let me put that up there so you see it. First quarter, moon and Capricorn. And there she is looking out at the sky. <clears throat> I have no idea where that is. I don't, it doesn't look like Easter Island or, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's made up. All right, this is the Oracle of Genetic Gifts, and I'm going to pull whatever comes out, one or two or three, see what we have for cancer, see what kind of abilities are wanting to come out and maybe manifest at this time, uh, or what spirit, wants, oh, what spirit wants to tell you. Jeez. All right, so we have some pretty... Um, Wow, pretty important cards. Clear audience, clear hearing is coming out. Clear audience, clear hearing is coming out. You could be having issues with the buzzing in the ear or um, as, as, as frequencies get kind of like stronger, higher vibration. Um... You could be hearing as the veil is thinning. If if hearing is how you normally receive your messages, you know what I mean? Like hearing from so, a voice from someone that you know is passed on or something like that. Angel numbers, sequences of numbers that carry divine guidance. Sequences of numbers that carry divine guidance. Notice the numbers. Notice the numbers that are showing up in your life. Telepathy. Thought reading. Extrasensory perception. In other words, empathic and extremely empathic to the point where it could interfere anxiety-wise even um, with that. But astrology, ancestral knowledge. So it feels like this is something that it is just in your 
genetic uh, DNA here in your blueprint to, to excel at. Now I'm going to put these up here. And these can be right here then. And make some room for, well, one, we're going to pull something from the spellcasting deck. And then I'm going to go into the uncommon tarot. The uncommon tarot spellcasting deck for cancer. Spellcasting deck for cancer. What do you have? Messages for cancer, please. out is friendship friendship is what's coming out so yeah there may be a friendship that's in your life for um, a reason right for a reason all right now let's get into the tarot uncommon tarot what do you have for cancer what do you have for cancer help us find out what general messages are for cancer's highest good to get them on their highest timeline or already are on their highest timeline. So th this feels like passed down ancestral ability, the telepathy, okay? And it feels like something that, it, that you probably have had and didn't know that you have had. Does that make sense? And then astrology, ancestral knowledge, it's like having a knowing of the star system without you really having to spit back facts. You know what I mean? Like having a knowing. It's a little bit deeper, honestly. Um, six of Wands. You have your own way of knowing this information in your DNA, I feel. And your clear audience. Yeah, you could start to hear things. You could. The buzzing can be um, kind of deafening sometimes uh, if you have that issue. Angel numbers, sequences of numbers that carry divine guidance, but you have to remember it's in your, it's in your um, third eye, like the, the noise. All right, so what is the issue with cancer? What's the issue? There you go. Awakening um, psychic ability. Awakening psychic abilities. Um using gifts that you maybe didn't know that you had ace of cups is the underlying issue this is clearly the challenge the ten of swords i have it kind of I'm, I'm feeling like it's like this so it's a hurtful passionate experience something that ended up bad but out of that came a rebirth and it's a rebirth to who you really are your authentic self your high priestess self the Ace of Cups is just beautiful. It's like she's sitting in this cup to me. Just so peaceful with the dove. The peace right here, too. All seems to be well and luxurious. The cup is very, very big. So a rebirth, awakening of your genetic gifts. as a gift of love from the universe <clears throat> to get you through um, a challenging elevation. Okay, past energy, I feel is that. Three of wands, upright, lets me know that you knew exactly where you were headed. Um, knowing what you had to put into something to make it work. You having the vision too, having the foresight to be able to see your destination up ahead. You know, maybe seeing it in your third eye too. You know, three of wands is being in the receiving mode, being ready to receive, and the priestess is definitely in receiving mode. <laughs> so, yin energy, divine feminine energy. What is the now moment here? What is the now moment? Other than spiritual, you know, with the priestess and the, the blue on the card, spiritual healing is what it feels like. Now moment. 
Queen of Wands in the reverse. So something has you being very careful and not taking a risk or not wanting to make yourself feel vulnerable at this moment. I don't know why. I think everybody probably has a different reason. That's probably why I'm not getting a why. Um, but it's something to do with the heart space. And yeah, it's not anything malicious. It's, I think it's getting reacquainted with these abilities. I think that's the message mainly. And a, a reminder to share, though, or plan to share near future energy for Cancer. Near future energy, Seven of Pentacles. Do you see how I like it almost landed in the reverse or upright? It's either one. Either, either you are exhibiting a, an extreme amount of patience. Um, well, you could do both, I guess. And, um, where you're looking at your crops and looking how much seeds you've sown. I'm trying to contemplate if what you've gotten out so far has been worth it. So it's a time of making decisions. It's challenging decisions. And it's challenging periods of wait. Uh, cycles. Waiting for cycles. You know, that's the spiral death and rebirth. <clears throat> so this could be the patience and the cycles waiting through cycles for something to evolve. How do you feel? The Ten of Wands in a reverse is actually really good. Um, you may feel relieved, like something is taking a burden off of your shoulders or lightening the load. Something's help, helping carry the load. In the environment, in your environment, in your environment is the full, almost in the reverse. So I'm going to read it as being kind of resistant to use, to using your gifts or resistant to have a new adventure solely relying on things that you mastered in the past, past lives. Okay. So accepting this cup is a challenge. Hopes and fears. Kings of Wands in the reverse that you'll try and then still fail. So that would be a fear. Like to be laughed at. It would be a fear. A fear. Not the reality of it. Of something not being built after putting in energy. Okay, what is the projected outcome looking like for our Cancers? All right, so I have this and this. I have the Two of Cups in the reverse with the Ace of Swords. Clarity comes out. Perhaps this could come across as a tough conversation or just a conversation and truth about, could just be about who is loyal to you or about not wanting to make a choice yet until you get all of the truth. Yeah, I think that might be it. Until you have all the facts, you're not going to make a choice or a decision. You're not going to make... I'm really getting that a lot with yours. Yeah. of Or avoiding making a decision because of that. Oh, anything else? The Page of Wands in the reverse. You could be trying to have a new beginning with somebody from the past. Page of Wands in the reverse. Anything else? Ace of Wands. And it's almost like I said in the past. There's something in the past here that you see as happening already that is happening. See? So that's your inspiration. Eight of Cups. Emotionally detaching from something, probably from um, any kind of confusion, seeing clearly now about a money situation, about whether an offer is true, ultimately postponing the decision again. <sighs> oh, it's funny, cancer. Okay, let's get, um, let's get some cards to wrap up your reading then. Let's get... 
get one of these Archangel cards. Okay, Archangel card for Cancer. Archangel Garcissa. Create a solid spiritual foundation and be of service to our planet. Archangel Gersissa, be of service to our planet. And yes, some tea leaves for you. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Dogs getting together with friends. Getting together with friends. All right, so that's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Thanks. Bye, Cancer.